بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبت في الله A beautiful du'a in the Qur'an. In Surah Ali Imran, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and this is a du'a for the mu'mineen to supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this du'a, because we all want guidance, we all need guidance, guidance, we're not guaranteed guidance. We're not guaranteed Jannah. And we're not guaranteed salvation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's punishment. Because we don't know our ending. But we just know that if we die upon Tawheed, that eventually we'll be inhabitants of Jannah. And that if we die in the major shirk, that we will be inhabitants of Nar. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, إن الله لا يغفر أن يشرك به ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء. Verily, Allah does not forgive that you commit shirk with Him, associate partners with Him, but He forgives other than that for whomsoever He pleases. Meaning, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala forgives other sins, but if you die in kufr and shirk, then there is no hope for you. And there will be no helpers for those who oppress themselves by not giving Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala his right, which is to worship him and him alone. So this is why we should never become arrogant and claim and think that we are guided. Even if bi'idhnillah that we are from Ahl Sunnah or we're striving to be from Ahl Sunnah, never take it for granted and think you're better than any single other individual. Unless they are clearly in shirk, in opposition to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's commands. But you just have to be careful and cautious. The more humble you are in this regard, the safer you will be. As long as you adhere to Kitab wa Sunnah. And getting back to that du'a, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi Kitab al-Kareem, Rabbana la tuzik qulubana ba'da the daytana wa hablana min ladunka rahmah innaka anta al-wahhab. O Allah, or O my Lord, please do not allow for our hearts to deviate after you have guided us. رَبَّنَا لَا تَزَقْ قُلُوبَنَا بَعْدَ ذَا دَيْتَنَا وَهَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُونْكَ رَحْمَةً Please give us from your mercy إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَحَّابِ Verily you are the most giving. So it shows that the mu'min from the characteristics of the mu'min is that they're always seeking guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because they realize that guidance is in the hands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that it is not simply a claim to say that you're with group so-and-so, or with jama'ah so-and-so, or even that you're from Ahlul Sunnah, or that you're Salafi, or you're from the Salafiyun. That's not sufficient to get you to Jannah. لا يقفي. العبر بهقائق ليس بمسميات. The reality of something is in its substance, not in its name, not in its claim. So we have to practice what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us constantly and be vigilant because shirk can come to us. The violation of tawheed can come to us. Bid'ah can come to us. And it's beautified for us. Sinfulness is beautified for us. Zuyana lin nas hubb shahawat 
desires have been beautified for mankind. So all your desires, they're desires, why? Because you desire them. Those are the things, when done incorrectly and improperly or, 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 or becoming extreme with regards to them, that is, those things are things that will destroy you. Just following your vain desires. But rather, we are restricted to the halal needs. So begging Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for constant guidance when you're knowingly sinning and when you're not sin sinning. And making dua to Him. This, you can ask for guidance for no other. And the guidance comes from Him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the forgiveness comes from Him. So this is why it's imperative that we glorify Allah. We seek forgiveness from Allah. We ask for guidance, supplicate for guidance from Allah, as we do in Surah Al-Fatiha. Ihdina Surah al Guide us to the straight path. We're imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ihdina Surah al Guide us to the straight path. We need guidance. And it's constant. As the Prophet sallallahu let us know that one of you will become an arm span away from paradise. And what was written for him will overtake him and then he will do the, in, the deeds of the people of the hellfire and enter it. And one of you will be an arm span length away from Jahannam, from hell. And then what was written and decreed for him will overtake him and he will do the deeds of the people of Jannah and enter it. So we want to be of those who enter Jannah. And we need Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His guidance. So never think and become arrogant and think that you're guided. Never think that you're always correct. Never cease to analyze your misdeeds, your misconduct. The more we do that, the less time we have for eating up others' flesh. The less time we have for trying to refute every single mistake or everything we perceive as a mistake or every issue that comes up of indulging in it because you'll be too busy with your own sins, your own tests, your own guidance. And we ask Allah the Almighty to guide us to the Surat al-Mustaqim and forgive us of our many sins. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jal. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.